Shut up and sit down. Hey you scallywags, following on from the last toy news video and the tease of the Chaos Space Marines, Joy Toy have now officially announced the release. There will be several releases available sometime in March, going up for pre-order soon. The first one we have here is the Black Legion Chaos Lord, Carlos the Ravager. Here with this hammer looking pretty fierce a removable cloak and all their accessories there as well you can see here scaling at 12.7 centimeters tall 18 centimeters at the top of that skull footage we have here shared by JL Tan gives us a full 360 view of Arlos the Ravager. Loving the overall look and attention to detail on this figure so far. Next we have up two Chaos Space Marines. First off here is Brother Talas. These two Chaos Space Marines we've previously seen prototypes of. Looking very good here with his uh, accessories. Standing at 12.3 centimeters, 14.3 centimeters to the top. Next here we have Brother Nargas. This figure was previously teased in full color, but looking even more impressive in these official photos. Again, with all the accessories you'll be getting here, 12.3 centimeters, 14.1 centimeters at the top. And right here we have again a full 360 degree view of both figures looking very impressive indeed this whole release has to be a must buy and finally from the black legion we have the chaos terminators So the first of the three will be this gentleman, Brother Narl. This guy looking very intimidating with his sword. His unhelmeted look looking even more intimidating. So the Terminator's looking to be the tallest we've seen from 40k at 13.4 centimeters and 17.5 centimeters to the top. Next we have up Brother Bathalor. Seemingly only equipped with one weapon. His huge left gauntlet more than makes up for the lack of specialized weapon. Really also liking this unhelmeted look too. Accessories looking a little bit more minimal. Lastly we have Brother Gorneth. Armed with a huge gun on his right hand. He also seems to have a larger left gauntlet making Brother Bathalor's accessories seem even more minimal. Here he is with his unhelmeted head. 
So everything here that he comes with. Here we have a great look at what all three would look like all armoured up. And also their unhelmeted look. Really digging the decapitated heads on the top there. This footage here shared by JL Tan giving us a good look at the whole squad together. Here we have a good idea of what they'll look like against the previous releases and upcoming. Looking very imposing. And we have the Chaos Lord stood against the Librarian. We have more images here for the Librarian, which will be an upcoming release for next month in January. Looking very poseable, even with the added accessories. Standing taller than the initial release. So here we see how flexible the plastic will be on that cloak over the librarian. Which will mean uh, posing will be no issue at all with this figure. It also seems to be removable. Only announced about a couple weeks ago, we have three more new figures that will be coming as soon as January. So three brand new designs. First character here, Gregson. Big shout out to That Damn Figure Show, check out his YouTube. He pointed out that the elbows look different and may have a tighter bend which would be a very welcome addition indeed as you can see here look holding the gun very well the design looking like it could fit in really well with aliens or predator Looks like they've opted to give two helmets as opposed to making the goggles removable. Next we have Boyang Feng. The elbows here also seem to be a bit different. I think these all three figures may be using a slightly altered buck to what we're used to with uh, some improvements. Besides this pistol, the rest of the weapons seem to be uh, reused from other figures from previous releases. This head sculpt though looking very much like Donnie Yen in my opinion. My favourite of the bunch is here Snake Eyes, I mean Steiner, looking somewhat like an armoured Snake Eyes, particularly with the swords. This figure can store those weapons along with the knife and pistol, which is not very common for Joy Toy. These dual swords we saw with the Steiner release. So these figures are expected at some point in January, early to mid January. So it looks like the helmet for Boyang Feng and Steiner was taken from one of the 
iterations of the suited assassin but was changed for the official release which seems to be an updated version of the helmet we saw on one of the other earlier prototypes here on the right. You can also see some of the influence of some of the other armour parts. But the lower armour parts here had not been seen until now. Shared by David Tao, we have this brand new prototype, which is rumoured to be a more premium figure better paint apps on the weapons and armor parts and the figure itself as well as a rumored more premium price point there's been no official word from joy toy as yet but as you can see here it does seem like they have tried to improve the paint apps for this particular figure time will tell as to whether or not it will be a more premium price point. I do like how I can hold the uh, the knife there. This image shared by Patrick Chan shows the figure with sleeves rolled down. And I don't know if this will be an option part you can have, or if they've just decided to have the sleeves rolled down for this particular release. Sticking with Joy Toy prototypes, we have a brand new unpainted prototype here, looking like something out of Borderlands, Mad Max, some apocalyptic wasteland. I posted the image on my community tabs and someone suggested it could be a Chaos Cultist? Either way, looks absolutely fantastic, the details there on that shield and those weapons. Can't wait to see where this goes. Kitlau released this image recently, which is basically a very low key reveal of a new Camelbot, which was teased in the background of Acid Rain World's June releases. We also have new images of the new Laurel and figure. And it looks like the figure can fit in the laurel if you remove the arm armor pieces. Hasbro have announced two new figures from the upcoming Book of Boba Fett, released this month on Disney Plus. Here we have the brand new Boba Fett with the new design and soft goods and in my opinion looking better than the uh, the black series Boba Fett there'll be more extras with this release there'll be a higher price point and here we have the Fennec this will be a standard figure with both looking to be released early part of next year. Next we have a four pack release of the Shore Troopers. This set looking ideal for army building. I'm hoping that all these new releases will have the new leg joints, like the new Bo-Katan figure. Video review of that figure and two other Mandalorian releases on the channel now. So this just in via Yakface on Instagram. Three ARC Troopers from the Vintage Collection will be available for pre-order from tomorrow 1pm US Eastern Time I believe with this one being exclusive to Big Bad Toy Store. Here we have some images from Boss Fight Studios sharing sample images at various stages of progress. 
uh, in their factory to determine package layout. As well as those retro Flash Gordon figures we just saw, there's the movie ones here. Also includes Prince Baron. Phantom figures here with Wave 1 and Wave 1.5 with color variants. I'm glad to see that they've now added the thigh swivel on all of these upcoming releases. Looks like their Tarzan line is coming along nicely as well. I'll probably be using Tarzan as a Conan custom. These are earlier images, which as you can see, do not have the thigh swivel at uh, the top of the leg. The more recent images here from Boss Fight Studios, you can clearly see the cut where the thigh swivel will be. This is a brilliant change, will make dynamic posing a lot more easier to do with these figures. These figures will all be coming out at various stages in the next few months. And the improved blanks will be coming along at some point soon as well. New diorama sets from Fresh Retro will be on the way. This here, the container warehouse. So if you're into this line, then definitely check out in the next few months for more. Before the normal release is out, Heya Toys have announced the variant of Kane from Robocop 2, battle damage version, screen face. PX exclusive mech 118 scale, this will be priced at $49.99 and set to be released September 2022. So that's it for now. This will be the last 118 toy news vids before Christmas. So I wish everyone a Merry Christmas and there'll probably be a, a toy news vid next week, providing that there's uh, some news uh, to compile all of this lot. Um, and it ended up being quite a bit. For anyone looking to help out the channel, please check out the Patreon patreon.com forward slash skellywags tv membership also on youtube uh, click like comment and subscribe and i'll scale you later